So let's get started for today. Thank you everyone for coming to the live streams. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to help the channel out, if you guys are wondering how to help the channel, it's super easy. It's the easiest thing and it makes all the difference. It's just clicking on my video and commenting or leaving a like or anything like that changes the way the algorithm provides you with content. So the algorithm isn't going to waste time giving you stuff that you haven't clicked on in forever because it thinks you're not interested in anymore. Basically, if you want to start getting notifications again, and when you're getting notifications to other subscribers who may not have clicked but subscribed, start getting notifications because, oh, well, you're getting them, and then it just starts spreading. Um, so that's what I hope happens, and that's what I'm trying to do. So please do like and subscribe. Please leave a comment. It doesn't matter. As long as you're commenting, the algorithm sees this channel is not dead. This channel is active. This People do care about this channel. I won't kill it. <laughs> and that's really all I'm trying to say. The Floral Humanoid Design Challenge is pinned at the top of the, the, uh, the subreddit. What is it all about? <clears throat> Uh, it is a design challenge where you win a bunch of stuff. You win my masterclass for free, a portrait studio for free, um, a portfolio review with me, meaning you sit down an hour session with me, and I go over all of your art, and I do a 100% dedicated to you critique. To have a quick look at what people are creating, I saved some pieces I found from the Discord and from the subreddit and if you want to join the discord or the subreddit and if you want to submit work to get critiqued by me just go to isterback.com all the links you need i've made them conveniently available to you so this is the subreddit icon click on that to join the subreddit go to the community tab to join the discord server but these are the pieces that are currently in the works i love what i'm seeing i just i love this pattern it's so pretty i can see the fullness of the petals the fold of the petals um, and that's all this challenge is, is, is just a flower, pick one or two flowers, combine them and make a humanoid out of it. Oh, final announcement is Portrait Studio and my masterclass are still on sale. They're still 50% off. What is my masterclass? It's, it's three hours of just portrait study. I teach you how to draw a portrait. Even if you've never drawn a portrait before, you can buy this masterclass. It comes with notes, it comes with templates, it comes with a color tutorial. It's everything you need out of portraiture. It gets you started on the 14 day challenge. I call it the 14 day challenge companion and it just gets your foot in the door. Okay, so let's talk about three quarter view portraits, why they're so difficult, why they're so, the, the, it's like a complete challenge of everything you think you know about portrait because all the, cartoons you've ever seen, all of the books you've ever seen. You don't see children's books with a lot of three-quarter views that are, you know, non, do you know what I mean? That are non-stylized. Uh, you see a lot of three-quarter view in styles that is a complete change of the style. Think about anime. Anime three-quarter view is so different from anime front view because three-quarter view as a concept it just interrupts what we think we know about a human face. Your quarter view is just something that has always plagued mankind. It's not something that a lot of people can approach flawlessly. It's, it's not something that is easy to wrap your brain around. So why is it that, that this happens? It's because of one thing, and that's in front view, you see the cube from the front. In three quarter view, you see the cube from the side. That's it. That's why your three quarter view sucks. <laughs> that's literally it. That's the beginning and the end of it. That's it. If you want to get better at three quarter view, learn the three quarter view geometric equivalent of every one of these features. X, Y, and Z. I have this inside. I want to go inside. What do you mean go inside? Like I want to go in the world of this drawing. And I want to take this nose and I want to rotate it on a central axis to the, to the side a couple degrees, like that. What's a cylinder look like from the front view? It looks like a rectangle. What does a cylinder look like from the quarter view? It looks like this. And if you get rid of these lines and th this line, well, you get something that looks a little bit more three-dimensional. But what's the difference? What's the difference between this guy and this guy? Well, this guy's got a belly 
and this guy is just straight facing the camera perfectly leveled with the camera so when we rotate it we revealed the contour the surface contour we have to fake that third dimension and we have to fake it for every feature and I'm giving you the answer. What's the base shape for every one of these features? Well, we've got a cube-like rectangular triangular prism for the nose. We've got two cylinders for the lips. It's not just about shading that these beautiful shapes help us. It's about rotation. This is rotation. When I say fundamental is rotation, or rotation is a fundamental, that's what I mean, cube. Uh, sorry, square becomes cube. Rectangle becomes cylinder. Sf circle becomes sphere. Okay, so this is rotation. This is a fundamental. This is why that pro artist's work looks good because not only do they know where to put the light that shines on, but they know how to move these objects so that all the features are rotating in that fake third dimension. So now I'm just gonna haul ass and make all these changes happen based off these rotations. Other things that I'm rotating, other things that I'm changing are based off one, the gender that I want to, to be, the, the specific gender behind this face. I think you're going for female. Um, and then two, symmetry. Symmetry has nothing to do with form and skill and knowledge of form has nothing to do with it. It can help you generate symmetry, uh, but that has nothing to do with why we do symmetry on a face. It's all about anatomy. That's it. Faces come symmetrically. And we want to make sure that, that well, after rotating, that symmetry has been intact. So all I'm doing, I opened up Portrait Studio. All I'm doing is I'm literally only, that's it. All I've done is bloop, that's it. That's it. I have not done anything else. The, the light is still the same. The shadows are still the same. Everything is still the same. All I've done is just here. Let me make this shadow perfectly symmetrical. So this is the low poly model in Portrait Studio. It helps you block. It helps you find the geometry. It helps you set the whole thing up. It's also on sale 50% off, by the way, you guys. It's just a very, very under rendered, very blocky portrait base for you to learn off of. So that's all I'm doing right now is those straight lines and a straight line does not lie. So corner with corner on one line. One side is wider than the other side. We see the side of every cube and make sure you have all your cylinders in place. You just have to remember this robot shape. That's it. Other than that, all of these things are parallel to each other. These are all the same line. You just put it in different spots. Obviously, right now, that none of that is skill. I haven't even started rendering or, or painting yet. All I'm doing is just moving stuff around. You also can do that. That doesn't take too much skill. And that means that that's all it really was. It was not a skill-based change. So right now, I'm just widening the distance between the eyes. And I'm doing that so that it reads as a bit more feminine. Um, but I have a feeling that, you know, when it comes to through quarter view, a lot of our results are accidental. So I'm just teaching them what the differences are. So I'm raising the eyebrows up and I'm also locating, I'm just going to keep using my pencil brush, lo locating the, the bright spot under the eyebrow right here. And that is the arc of the eyebrow that every female character in art has. And that's going to help her read as a bit more female. Low eyebrows, flatter eyebrows, and thicker eyebrows are all male uh, signatures that make a character look masculine. I'm just softening that shadow there. Please make sure you guys are not being overprotective of the eye you're drawing. It, you're going to draw a thousand more eyes, believe me. You're not done with eyes. You're going to draw better and better every single time. Stop being so precious with it. And as soon as you guys leave that pupil in the iris intact, you, you are more inclined to be protective of the pupil in the iris. As soon as we get rid of them, suddenly all your attention go, will go straight to the form, straight to the structure, which is what is making your face look realistic. It's easy to draw the pupil in the iris 
it's like the easiest thing circle and circle shade and a little white dot like that's nothing a kid can do that okay so it's 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 backwards it's be it's, it's behind you to be so uh, in need of the people in the iris and the best point the point where all artists level up is when they just let go and they just like surrender to the fundamentals and what they need the sacrifices they need of you in order to to learn from them um, and I'm adding a block for the under area under the lower eyelid I'm making sure this shadow isn't too dark and I'm just reblocking some areas here but if you want even more information about how to blend, which brush to use, and even have the brushes, and learn how to paint a face all at once, my masterclass is on sale. And it goes way deeper into this than anything else I've done. Um, it's entirely, three hours entirely dedicated to just portraits. And the three-quarter view will be released hopefully sometime soon. And I'm just... Um, blending now with a smaller brush around these areas here you can you don't have to blend methodically you can just keep shrinking as long as you understand blending majority of it has to be zoomed out uh, because you want to make sure you're not dismantling all of these big blocks you put in you want to you want to blend only until they're 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 blended you don't want to keep going too much but if you zoom in and try to blend you will overdo it because you're blending for what you see when you zoom in. And when you zoom out, you can see the whole face, so you can reference what's been blended, what needs more blended against itself, reference it against itself. Clearly, the cheeks look okay. If you zoom in, you don't know that, so you might keep doing it. And just a bit of shadow for the far lip. I feel like the ear can start somewhere here. And then, of course, tuck that up so you can create that believable lobe. I don't have time to go into every single little spot of the ear. Really, when it comes to ears, I just mostly focus on making sure that the that main thing in the ear right here, that little big um, kind of part that protrudes, actually looks like a cylindrical shape. But other than that, um, I keep the top part bright. And there's that little bit of shadow that you get out of the ear and the little flap in front of the ear. Um, but uh, don't have time to render all of that right now. Um, it's mostly just about the three quarter view today. Uh, a log over them. Robbie's still here. This was so useful. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um, so we still have like a month uh, for the humanoid challenge. Oh yeah, you have more than a month. Um, so there's the rest of April and possibly all of May or mid-May. So you guys have way more than a month left for the Floral Humanoid Design Challenge. Remember, the winners get everything on my store and an hour session with me, just like I did today, but all about you, your whole portfolio. I review everything. So let's look at the before and after. So before, after, before, after. Still that same Grecian face, but it's more feminine you can see the masculine from before comes from the flat eyebrows and the um and the, the bushier low eyebrow all right so this looks a bit more feminine the nose was great it just needed to be a bit more of a three-quarter view nose which is a downward tilt the mouth now has a cylindrical shape to it and is symmetrical the far eye is no longer oversized um, and of course, there's just adding more highlights, controlling your values, all of that stuff. Yes, our brain wants to symbol draw. So if you learned something today and you guys want to join and submit your art uh, to the community, all you have to go do, all you have to do, <laughs> all you have to do is go to isdirect.com um, and click on the subreddit icon right here. That'll take you to the subreddit. This is where I found this piece to critique today. Please submit your art here. Um, even your floral humanoid design challenges are, are submitted here. Um, and um, then there's the community tab. Go to the community tab and click on the Discord server. Join the server. If you want Portrait Studio, which is what I use today to help me examine the three quarter view model, and also you have a posable, um, uh, 
uh, where is it? A finger, a mannequin that you can control. You can pose it in all kinds of ways. And my master class are all available on my store. So it's rack.com slash store. And everything is 50% off at the moment. The sale will go on up until I'm back from vacation, which is going to be the 30th or the 1st of May. Um, so the, the, the 30th of April or the 1st of May. So if you guys want it, now is your chance. It might end right before vacation. I'm not 100% sure. But this is the only sale in the spring slash summer that I do. The next one is around the fall. Maybe midsummer I'll host another challenge or something like that. And there will be another sale for that. But if you are interested in learning how I paint, how I paint a portrait, my master class, which is usually $90, is now $44. Um, and my portrait studio which is usually sixty dollars but it's on a sale it's actually ninety dollars is not right now at 40 as well all right um so 45 so i'll let you guys go everyone who joined today thank you so much you guys are the best thank you for everyone who's commented on the last video i really appreciate the engagement it made it so much fun I've n I'm not used to that. I'm not used to my videos going out there and so many comments. Like, I'm not used to that. I just, I was having so much fun. Every couple seconds, there was another comment. And I'm just reading through and I'm like, oh my gosh, they really like me. Um, I was really happy. Thank you so much for everyone who left a comment. Um, and uh, yeah, try to do that for this time for those who can, who, who didn't do it before. You don't have to comment every video. It's just for those who have not commented yet. If you want to keep getting notifications, we've cracked the code to this algorithm. It wants to see comments and engagements. And that's really all that it is. Um, and the Floral Humanoid Design Challenge, look into that. Thank you everyone for coming. I really appreciate you guys being here. Bye.